Theme is one of the most essential elements when you are building a WordPress website. It helps you build a visually appealing site. There are over 10,700 free themes on WordPress repository that you can use. There are thousands of premium themes on ThemeForest. In this video, we are going to learn how to install a theme from WordPress repository and also learn how to upload a theme to your WordPress dashboard and install it from there if you have downloaded your theme from ThemeForest or any other WordPress theme shop. Let's get started. Okay, so first uh, log into your WordPress dashboard and after you do, this is the first screen that you're going to see. This is the home section of your uh, WordPress dashboard. So on the left hand side, you will see some options over here. And if you want to visit your site and look at your site, how it currently looks, um, look into the upper left corner. You can see there's a section that says my blog. So your website might have a different name. I have named my site my blog. Um, so if you hover your mouse over here, you can see there's an option that says visit site. So I'm going to click on visit site and let's see how our site currently looks like. As you can see, our website is very simple. We are using the 2023 theme and there's only one post over here, which is called hello world. And now there's the logo over here and the sample page over here. There's nothing special in our site. Okay, so to go back to our dashboard, we're going to hover our mouse over my blog, click on dashboard. So we're back in our dashboard. Okay, so now to see the themes section, um, just hover your mouse over appearance, or you can click on appearance. There's another option that says themes. So I'm going to click on themes. And it's going to show us the 2023 theme because this is the only theme that we have installed. Okay. To add another theme, you can simply click on this button over here that says add new. It's going to show you a list of different themes. So the first theme that you can see here that says popular and here is the number of themes that are available. There's 5555 popular themes. Okay, so we're going to explore it later. We're going to look at the next tab that says latest. So these are the latest theme, which is 10,742. So there are over 10,000 uh, themes that you can install. And there's the block themes over here in this tab. So these are all the block themes that are available. And then there's the favorites. So we haven't marked any themes as our favorite on WordPress.org. You can browse them here. So WordPress.org is where you can find the theme repository. So if I go to WordPress.org, this is the site. And if we hover our mouse over download and extend, you can see there's an option called themes. So if we click on themes, we can see the same thing here. It says add style to your WordPress site, browse from 10,742 free themes. So this is the same number that we have seen on our WordPress dashboard. So there are popular, latest and block themes available over here. If you want to mark a theme your favorite, simply log into your uh, WordPress.org account. Then you can uh, mark your favorite. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. The next is the feature filter. So the feature filter allows you to uh, select a complex filtering for your themes. For example, you can select the subject of your theme. Then you can select the features that will be available on your theme. Then you can select the layout that you want on your theme. After selecting all of these, if you click on apply filters, based on your choices, your themes will be displayed. If you're not sure about the features or the layouts, then you can simply select a subject. For example, I want to build a blog site. So if I just simply check the blog and click on apply filters, it's going to show me all the uh, blog themes. So there's the NAMI theme, the business chat, electrical home gadget. There are so many themes to explore. Okay. So now let's go ahead and install a theme. To install a theme, I'm going to click on popular again. And from here, we can see there are so many themes. There's the Hello Elementor, 
there's the Astra, there's the Ocean WP, and of course this 2017, 2021, these are the default themes of WordPress. You're going to always see some of these here, but we want to install some other themes. Okay, these are also good, but we want something else. Oh, so there's the Ocean WP, there's Cadence, there's Neve, there's Generate Press, there's Popular FX, there's uh, Blogus, Inspiro, there's Bloxy, Newsmatic, Royal Elementor Kit, Go, and so much more. If you've seen our previous videos, you probably have noticed that we have used Bloxy on most of our tutorials because Bloxy really gives you amazing features. But for this tutorial, we are going to use another theme. Okay, so let's scroll up and we are going to install the Astra theme. Before installing, you can click on details and preview after you hover your mouse over theme, this is going to appear. You can either click on preview or details or preview, it will take you to the same section. So if we click on it, it's going to show you another screen. So from here you can see the name of the theme, which is Astra, and then you can see the name of the developer. So uh, Astra is developed by Brainstorm Force. Below here you can see the ratings of the theme and the version, and there's a few description of the theme. There's a long description. You can actually learn a lot by reading the description. For example, if you want to know if your theme is compatible with WooCommerce or any e-commerce theme, then you can see um, they have mentioned here that WooCommerce storefront. So these theme, so uh, Astra has WooCommerce uh, themes for you as well. If you want to know if uh, Astra supports Elementor, Beaver Builder, or any other page builders, you can see in the description they have mentioned Elementor, Beaver Builder, Visual Composer, etc. Okay, so reading the description gives you uh, a great idea about the theme. So if I click on this button here that says collapse, it's going to collapse this left sidebar so you can better check, okay? So let's quickly check this website. You can see there's a, a logo over here, there's the menu and some social icons, and there's some text, there's a button, and if we scroll down there's some sections with icons, texts, and here's another section that says our services, here's an image followed by some texts, and some text on the left side and an image on the right side. So this is a very nice design. So if we scroll up and click on these um, pages, it's going to just simply uh, scroll down to the section. So this is a one page site, okay? So if you want to install a theme, you can simply click on install over here, or you can click on this cross button and install your theme from here. So I'm going to click install from here and the theme is now installing. Give it some time and it will install. Okay, so our theme has been installed. Also remember that our theme is installed but not activated. You see, this is the activated theme. So if we click on activate from here, what WordPress will do is it will deactivate this 2023 theme and then activate this Astra theme, okay? So if we click on themes once again, it's going to show us the number of installed themes. So we have the 2023 theme and the Astra theme. So we're going to activate the Astra theme by clicking on the activate button. Okay, so our Astra theme has been activated. So this is basically the Astra uh, dashboard. Here there's a video which you can watch to get started. And here it says, hello user, welcome to Astra. Astra is fast, uh, customizable. So there's some um, uh, text over here. You can quickly look at the quick settings, which allows you to uh, customize the site identity, header builder, footer builder, color, typography, etc. On the right side, you can see um, it, it is listing out a list of useful plugins, which is the starter templates. The starter templates plugin will allow us to import uh, the starter sites. Spectra, which is another plugin, is a free WordPress page builder you can use. Shortcut is another plugin, which is probably an e-commerce uh, feature. Another plugin is Sure Triggers, which you which you can use to automate your WordPress setup. So already you can see Astra provides you with so many features with the just the free version, and with the pro version you will get a lot more. So with Astra installed, let's actually visit our WordPress website and see how our site currently looks like. 
as you can see uh, our site hasn't changed much the logo is over here the sample page there's the hello world post that we had and there's absolutely nothing else so you can try and build everything from scratch but it will take a lot of time what you can do instead is go back to your WordPress dashboard and import a starter site so Astra gives you option to import starter sites so I'm going to uh, hover my mouse over Astra click on dashboard and from here you can either install the star uh, starter templates from here by clicking on the install button or you can go to starter templates and from here you can see it's telling us that you need to um, install and activate the starter templates plugin so we're going to click on install and activate so it's installing the starter templates uh, plugin okay so it's activated now it gives you a video so that you can get started with the starter templates but we're not going to watch this right now we are going to click on build your website now button now it's asking us to choose a page builder so the block editor or the Gutenberg block editor is the default page builder for WordPress Elementor and Beaver Builder are two very popular page builders for WordPress so if you guys are familiar with it you can pick it but for our website I'm going to pick the Gutenberg block editor okay so now it's given you access to so many themes over here there's a large number of themes you can actually uh, use this uh, drop downs to filter out the theme that you need you can see there's business agency restaurant hotel travels if you're looking to build a blog uh, you can see there's blogger food blog uh, travel blog news site magazine fashion blog so there are uh, themes for almost every website you're looking for okay if you actually want to change your page builder you can uh, click on this drop down and select your page builder and it's going to show you all the elementor uh, templates but we're going to uh, install a block editor so let's say we want to install a language tutors website what we can simply do is click on this language tutor and as you can see it's it's asking us to upload our logo so currently this is the logo that comes with the starter site but I don't have a logo right now I can simply skip and continue next it's asking us to change the colors so you can actually choose the colors and font of this website so if I click on this color pattern it changes the color of the entire site see so if I click on this blue everything changes to blue so pick a color that you like and then if we go to the fonts you can select any font over here which is available the open sense or the Roboto so you can pick any um, font you like and after that you can simply click on continue so in the next step you can introduce yourself and your website a little bit but if you want you can also uh, skip this and click on submit and build my website after that give it some time to uh, build your website it's in it will install the required plugins and other things and finally will build your site all right the setup is complete and now it has given us a congratulation page um, you can see your website is ready and it took 1.3 minutes to build it also states the time it took to build your site and now you can click on view your website button to uh, view your website so let's click on it and as you can see we got what we asked for the uh, the entire website has been imported and everything is there we can just uh, go ahead click on edit page and start uh, replacing every elements with our own and that is how easy it is to build a website with Astra okay so the other way that you can install a theme is by uploading a compressed file so if you have downloaded your uh, theme file from theme forest or any other theme shop site it will give you a compressed file so you can upload that so we're going to see how uh, that is done so go to appearance again and here click on the add new button and here you can see an option called upload theme so if I click on this button and click on this choose file and select the compressed file and then click on open it's going to um, load up the file over here now if I click on install now it will be installed 
but some of the compressed file that you download from theme forest you cannot directly upload it you have to first extract it and then upload the theme um, zip file so when you purchase a theme you should receive some instructions on how to install that theme the instruction basically tells you which files to extract and which files to uh, upload so that is how you can install a theme by uploading the compressed file okay so where to get some really good themes as i've said the wordpress.org has some of the best themes um, but you can get access to these themes from your um, wordpress admin dashboard so it's better to get it from there or you can go to theme forest theme forest has some of the most amazing wordpress themes that you can find you can find the link to theme forest in the video description choose the theme that you like so for our case if we want blog and magazine we're going to click on it and you can see there are so many themes over here of course these are all premium themes so you have to uh, pay for it they're going to give you a live preview and most of them uh, you can just simply uh, chat with them to know what features they will be providing so these are some of the most popular themes that you can get from theme forest so uh, if you want to uh, download a theme simply click on it and you can live preview it and from here you can check basically check what features they have and after you're sure you can simply click on add to cart and purchase okay so that brings us to the end of this tutorial i believe it was helpful for you if it was give it a like share and subscribe to this channel because it will encourage us to make more helpful videos like this one so until the next video take care see you next time